Hello everybody, Michael here and I'm gonna just see if I can check out or clone uh, an existing uh, repository from the web service git hub. So let's see, follow me. So in the back here, I have my repo. So let's say that someone just give you a sort of a, a link and say, hey, here's my nice repository. Do you want to sort of participate, have a look, or do you even want to sort of uh, help me in uh, extending, changing, updating that repository? Yay, then you're going to need this link to start with. Okay, so here I am, and uh, now I want to have this down on my local machine. And the first thing here I'm, I'm going to use to do that, I'm going to use the git bash. So I'm going to open up git bash here. Gonna, I can just add it somewhere here. Let's have it a bit larger. And I'm gonna go to, I think I'm gonna have a Git directory. So I'm gonna save all my Git projects in there. So good. Now let's grab that uh, repository and get it to my local machine. And of course I need to have sort of it installed and working but I'm, I'm using git bash so I obviously already have that so when we go to a web service like this um, since we can access it the code is in in general sort of a public state so everybody could basically download it and the thing to download it is to go in here and we have various ways here how we can clone it. So it's called cloning when we are downloading a repository like that. Like this, we're cloning in the repo. And open with GitHub Desktop. No, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to stay on the terminal. So I could use HTTPS. And that is usually working for all the public repositories. And that will be fine. So I'm going to use that now. If this were like it is, my own personal uh, repository, and I want to work with it, then I don't want to deal with this HTTPS part because that I need to write in my credentials each time I'm going to sort of push new changes onto it. But today we're only in sort of read-only mode, so I only want to have a copy of it locally, so I'm not going to be dealing with this sort of uh, changing and updates and making commits to it. But if I were, I would oh, mostly always go with an SSH part and then I will use this link to clone the repository. Uh, this means I need to have set up my SSH case to be working. So I need to generate SSH case locally in my terminal and I need to add the public part here up onto... I need to, I need to add the... SSH case up here on uh, GitHub so they can authenticate me when I'm trying to access this sort of repo. But we will not go into that now and I'm not going to use the GitHub CLI so let's just get that and copy that. So let's go with git clone and paste it in here. So here we here we have it. So if I just pay, if I just uh, execute it like this, it's uh, everything is going to be installed in this um, in this directory called demo. If that is not fine, I could sort of have GitHub demo. I could sort of label it to another directory name. So yeah, I think I'm going to do that. We can see here that it's going to be cloned into GitHub demo. All the objects is going to be downloaded. And there we go. So let's go in there. GitHub demo. LS minus L. Here we have LS minus L A. So here we have it all. And we can just see the changes. What's in the readme file. I have the repo locally. I could even check out the history of it. So I have the whole the whole repository with me. I just can't push any changes onto GitHub uh, this way. 
uh, at least if I don't have the credentials to do so. So here's a git log of the repository, it's fine, we're just playing around to see that it worked like we wanted to. So yes, that is the way to clone a repository you have found on, on GitHub or any services like GitHub, there are many like that. And get it to, to your local machine where you can play around with it. So thanks for watching, see you some other day, bye bye.